Morning, everybody. Wow, hello. We're going out on an early morning walk this morning. I'm going to take our pups. Maybe you might recognise some of the walk. But today's walk is actually a really early morning walk. So it's about seven o'clock in the morning. So if I turn the camera around, you'll be able to see the morning light coming through the trees. How cool is that? So let's walk through the woods and have a little look at what we can see. It's a lovely green morning and I'm sure you can hear all the birds up singing their hearts out. My goodness. Now, do you remember my dogs? Yes, that's Cosmo. Uh-oh, where's Scout gone? He'll come back in a second to check on how, how I am. Let's see if he comes back. Sky. Oh, there he is. Oh, he came back for just a second to check how I was. Now he's trying to figure out, are we going to go this way up the road or this way down to the river? I think we'll do a little bit of the walk that we've done before and we'll go down the river. Wow, it is very bright. We are going down a really big slope. Get ready for this. It's been slightly wet over the last few days, so I'm not entirely sure if we're all going to make it. I might end up on my big bottom, but let's hope that we make it without slipping. Take it slowly down the slope. Thank you, Cosmo, for standing in front of me again. Hmm. I suppose he was trying to make sure I didn't slip. Here we go. Oh, there's the sun trying to come through again. As you can see, it's quite low in the sky. Now, any of you who are into scouting or map reading will know if the sun is low in the sky over there in the morning, that indicates that that is east on the compass. So if your compass for map reading has, oh look at that, wow, has north, south, east and west on it, well we're heading <laughs> kind of southeast at the moment because that's to our left a bit. So if the sun's over there first thing in the morning, you now know where east is. So when you look out your window in the house, have a look and see where the sun is in the morning and you'll know that is east. And from there, you can actually figure out where north, south and west are. That's kind of a fun game. Let's keep walking. Now the grass has still got some little bit of moisture on it and that's not necessarily because it's been raining it's because in the morning when the sun comes up it's been cold all night so it means all these little raindrops are now going to get dried up in the sun so somebody coming here in a couple of hours might not see this do you remember these trees that were all planted by the farmer to help keep that field nice and safe. And there's the River Tay right over there. And we will walk along there. Beautiful sky colour. Absolutely beautiful. Come on pups. We haven't seen a picture of them for a while. So let's get the pups going. You can see it's dark where the sun isn't shining but we're coming along and we'll soon be turning a corner going more south 
Hmm, probably southeast, but there we go. We'll say roughly south. Now, do you remember the little brown bridge? Scout is standing there and he's waiting. Mom, are we going along there? Well, we'll walk up to the bridge, but I really don't think we'll be going that way today. I think, oh, trying to make sure we don't get the sunlight in your camera. There he is. We can go and have a look at the bench if you want. Let's go and have a look at that bench. I know, the dogs are quite excited. They quite like doing here. They quite like going here. I don't think I'll be sitting on the bench this morning because it's got droplets of water on it. That will all soon dry up now the sun is out. But we'll not look downstream, we'll have to look upstream. If we look downstream, we'll catch the sunlight. That's beautiful, isn't it? Right, now we're going to turn around, say goodbye to the bench and walk back over the little brown bridge. I know! Come on pups! Off you go! One pup and two pups! Come on! They are stopping all the time to sniff the scents of all the friends that have been here maybe this morning before us. They would have to be up really early. Or that we're out yesterday. Oh, he's getting quite excited. What a beautiful day. Wow, I'm being more quiet than normal simply because it's early in the morning and the birds are making all the noise this morning for me. <laughs> This is so nice. I'm not sure we will meet anyone this morning. I think people are all still in bed asleep. Oh, here he comes. Oh, that's lovely. The farmer has been planting things in his field. You can just see a little green haze as all the new shoots begin to grow. Oh, shall we let the dogs in for a little dip in the water? Well, there's Scout having a look already. Oh, no, not today. We'll have a little look with the camera over there. And could you see the sun trying to peek through and get on our film? Sad. We'll keep walking now. I think it might be a touch little cold at this time of the morning. So we'll walk along. And Cosmo has promised me he's not going to stop in front of me. But how, how, how much do you think he's going to remember to keep that promise? Yeah, I don't think so either. Let's see. We can always have hope. Yes. Let's keep going. Let's get some pictures of the beautiful River Tay. I know that's what you're enjoying. Do you remember where the River Tay goes down stream to? It goes down into Perth from all the way up north. Oh, 
this is lovely. Oh, let's have a close look at these little plants. Can you see they're all growing? All growing. Because it's springtime. Oh, there's my shadow. Hello, everybody. Oh, that looks like a weird shadow. Let's go. Come on, pups. Let's keep walking. River Tea's quiet today. Although, as I said, most people are probably still in their bed at the moment. And there's Cosmo having a good sniff. He'll know which friends have passed here recently. And then he'll be able to leave his scent to tell them that he's been. Oh, we might even get a little bit of that reflection without ruining the camera. Can you see the reflection of the rising sun? Can you remember which compass map? The sun rises from in the morning. Yes, I knew you would. It's from the east. In the evening, if the sun is low in the evening, it would be in the west. So you can actually figure out quite a lot from where the sun is at different times of the day. The River Tay runs roughly, very roughly, north to south on the compass. It's not bad, it's quite a good idea to follow, especially when you come to this part near Perth. It is nearly, nearly, not quite, running north to south. Do you remember what happens here? We come to the end of this field and we have to find the beginning of the field. But let's have a quick view here. Oh, we don't want to catch too much sunlight, otherwise your eyes will be dazzled. That's the only time, the only reason coming out this in the morning cannot be so great for filming. Come on Cosmo, where are you going? Come on! There's Scout waiting, checking up on his friends and now going along. Do you remember, at the end of this bit, we have a narrow path which has, get ready, a very steep hill. You don't want to go down there. My goodness gracious. Now we'll turn across and we'll walk along. Oh, look at this field. I think the farmer either planted this earlier or it's a different crop which grows a bit faster. Can you see it's much more green than before? Oh, did you see that little bird come up? It had, I think it had a worm in its mouth. It was going to feed its babies. <gasps> that was a lovely moment. If you missed it, then try and rewind the video just a few seconds and you'll see it again. I kind of made a little noise which might have frightened it so I tried to be quiet. That was lovely. I'm quite enjoying walking along here at this time of the morning because the light is coming from a completely different angle and how pretty all the shadows of the bushes are across the path. Uh oh, here's slope alert. There's another big slope. And can you see the reflection again in the River Tay? I'm trying not to blind you, but I do like you to see the reflection of the sun in the river. It looks very pretty. Now we have done this part of the walk before. So what I'm going to do 
is I might even walk a little bit farther today and tell you more. We're going to go to the ghillie hut. Do you remember that? I'm going to walk past the ghillie hut and we're going to keep walking. So you'll be able to see where the path goes after this. Uh oh, oh he nearly did it. He trying to keep his promise but he nearly stopped. Nearly stopped. Oh good for you Cosmo. So we'll go to that ghillie hut and we will walk farther on. We might see some new plants or we'll see a different part of the river that's for sure. I even think there might be a bench that we could have a little sit down on and have a look. There's Scout checking every so often where we are. He always likes to be ahead because although he's 12 this year, he doesn't really look it. He's very, very active. Cosmo is 13 this year and he's very active for his age, but just not very, very active like Scout. Oh, Scout's been smelling some scents of his friends. And he's going, oh no, you've caught up with me. I'm going to have to go ahead. Because he thinks he's the walk leader, you see. Oh, look at that pretty pattern near stones. It's stopping some of the river walking. And at the other side, downstream, sometimes little fish can get a little bit of a shelter from the heavy kind of movement of the water downstream. There's a fancy name for that, it creates a little circle of water called an eddy. That's what fishermen call it. Just, oh let me see if I can point it out. There we are. Just about there. That, if the water's going downstream fast enough, when it hits the stones, after the stones, it kind of almost double backs on itself. And then it creates a little kind of circle of water as a little swirl. And that's called an eddy. That's beautiful. Look how the light is shining and creating wonderful light spots and dark spots. That is so pretty. Many of my walks are done in the evening or afternoon which means the sun is at the other side so it's nearly at the west so it's quite a treat to see what the patterns are when it's coming up from the east on my left so if the east is on my left and the west is on my right then I know that I'm walking from north down to south, so I'm walking southward. So Perth, if I kept walking, which I could, but I don't want to today, if I kept walking south, I would end up in Perth. So Perth is south from here. Right, do you remember the end of this field? Can you tell me which way we go? Do we go right? Or do we go left? Cosmo, what do you think? Shall we go left? What do you think? Yep. I think we've got it right. We're going left. Oh, we're going to go into the sun a little bit. So we'll try and keep the camera from getting too bright on your eyes. That's what happens when you point the camera near the sun just gets a little bit bright. Do you remember this part from one of our walks? Yes, this is where lots of people come to fish and you have to have permission to bring your car here 
because there's a big gate here. And do you remember this bit here? This bit down here is where the ferry used to go from. And I find out the name. It used to be called the Walk Mill Ferry. I have some pictures which I might post up that somebody had of the ferry. It was quite a large but flat boat, not like the boats we're about to see here, because it had to carry cows and sheep. I think it could even carry cars. My goodness, not that the cars really were like the cars today. They were kind of different. We'll have a little look at these boats. There we go. The dogs may want to go for a dip here. As it's beginning to warm up, the sun's heat is coming. Oh, I forgot to tell you, we're coming to a slope. Uh oh, here's Scout. If it's warm enough, you'll probably go for a dip. Now, here are the boats, but the ferry boat was much bigger and wider to take more things on. Nope, there's no dogs going in for a dip today. Are we not going in, pups? Are you too busy smelling all your friends? No, it's just a little bit too cold. Yep, dogs seem to know these things. And do you remember that? The ghillie hat uh, with the log pile. That is lovely. Now we went just past here on one of our walks. But today, oh, can you see the sun's behind us now? So we won't have that catching our light at the moment. So that means we can actually see what we're doing. That would be good. I'll walk for a little bit in peace and quiet and let you enjoy the sound of my footsteps and the birds. While well, we have a look at the river too. I think this was as far as we came in one of our previous virtual walks. So I think we'll go a bit farther today and see what's there. Shall we have a look? Okay, we'll have a look. I always think that this path as it's kind of lined with trees, should really lead to some big farmhouse or mansion. But it doesn't. It leads to... Oh, I nearly gave it away. I'm not going to tell you where it leads to. We will find it together. Oh, look at the beautiful blue sky. 
and it's reflecting in the water. Come on, Scout. Come on, Cosmo. Come on, Cosmo. Look at the lovely flowers. They're all a little bit closed until the sun comes up and then they open with the heat. This is a beautiful walk. Oh, let's see if we can get a scout. There we are. Right, we'll now give you a nice big long view so that you can see the whole path, which is rather majestic for being technically in the middle of nowhere. I think this might give you a clue that there is something up here. But I'm still not telling you. Now here, at this point, very soon, the River Tay takes a slight bend. So as we're following the River Tay, we will probably take a slight bend too. But before we do that, we're going to have a look at this bench. Can you see this pole? Looks like a rather odd pole. Can you see the little holes? Here and here and here. They are actually for fishermen to lean their fishing rods against while they maybe have a little snack or look at the river. And this is a particularly wonderful bench. Can you see how they get down? Ah, yes, that's another slope, but it doesn't look like it because it's two little slopes. The water is very shallow up here, which is quite nice. If we take a sit down, you will be able to see down the river T. But notice it goes round the corner. So we'll need to have a little walk to see where it goes to. Oh, there is Scout. He came with me and then he zipped off ahead to lead the walk. Oh my goodness, there we go. There's my shadow again. Hello, I hope you're enjoying your walk. There's Cosmo. And who's coming now? A Scout. Hello, Scout. They do love their morning walks. Early morning, nobody's about. It is rather splendid with all the little shadows cast by the sun coming from the other side. And you see lots of little lines across the path. That's very pretty and quite arty. Now the river you can see is beginning to bend right round. Oh, I've just spotted something that we might be able to get another lovely view. Do you remember on the other side, all along there, is the village of Schoon? But there's no ferry now, but even at the ferry point, you still need a boat to get over there. You always need to be careful though around water because even though we saw shallow bits sometimes there's big holes in the bottom of the riverbed just where it's been worn away so you can't always think it's shallow here I'll walk across! Uh -uh. It doesn't work like that you have to always be thinking and never play near water without an adult helping you Aha! Uh -huh. Have you seen what I've seen? <gasps> Another bench! So many lovely people here have donated benches at really nice spots. So shall we have a little look at what view we get from this bench? Just for a few seconds. Ah. 
Can you see the River Tay? It's beautiful. Look at that tree hanging over the edge. Down here. Now right at the end, you can see, it looks like it stops, but it doesn't. It goes right down to the left. Right down to the left. We might be able to see a bit of that later on. Let's have a look at the water. Look, it's still really shallow. Do you know why? You can see the stones. That would barely cover my ankles. It's a very quiet day, but if you look over here, it might be shallow, but those little white tufts of water catching the sunlight are basically faster water. Uh oh, they're faster water. What has he found? Yes. He's found our favourite stick of the walk. Oh, that looks like a yummy stick. Shall we take that stick with us? Where's your sticky? Can you take your stick? Come on, let's take your stick. I think it might be too broad. Length is fine, but I think it's a little bit too wide. Look how wide it is. And he's letting me touch it. Which that means that you're maybe not so keen to carry it. Ooh, he's trying. Oh, oh well. Maybe a slightly narrower stick. I know you like long sticks, but that was just too good. You did very well lifting it off the riverbed. Goodness me, all the way up that little slope. Now, I haven't taken you here before. Can you see the River Tay? We are now going up. And we'll be able to see where it bends round in just a few minutes. Yes, Cosmo, you're enjoying it, aren't you? I hope you're enjoying your early morning walk. As I certainly am. Let's look at the path and where we're going. It's wonderful. Could you hear the water? That's because it's a little bit faster down here. Can you see all the little white tufts? As it goes over the stones, some big stones and rocks. That gives you a clue that it's maybe not going as gently as you think. We're going to head up to just about there and then I'll show you what we find. Oh my goodness, here's another field. This one is much farther on than the first field and definitely much farther on than the second field. So it was maybe planted much earlier or it's a faster growing crop. Those who are into growing things might actually be able to tell what crop is growing there. If so, leave a note in the comments because I always like to know information like that. I know, I stopped to look at the field. Sorry, Scout, we're going to hurry up. See, he's the walk leader and he's just said, come on, keep going. Walking with my pups, Cosmo and Scout. Now I can't.
can promise one thing. Oh look, there's some steps down. Those steps lead down to another place where fishermen can sit but also get into the river. I'm not going to go down there because it's very steep but maybe one day we'll have an adventure and you can have a look and we'll focus just on that. This morning if we went down there the sun is just in the wrong place for that so we would have to do that in the evening otherwise all you would see is sun because it's so bright at that angle. Oh, it's calming a little bit down here. It's just a little faster. Oh, now this is a good lesson. Look at how fast. It's deeper, so it looked initially like it wasn't going as fast as earlier. But it's actually deeper. So how fast it's going on the top, or how fast it looks like it's going on top, is it actually going an awful lot faster than that. But if it looks fast on the top, it's definitely going really, really fast underneath the top of the water. So always be safe around water and rivers and lakes and lochs. We are not far away now from one of the last stops on this walk, from your early morning walk. All the different types of trees. I believe this used to be part, all of the trees that you've seen in all my videos, used to be part of some woods that were created by the Blair Athol Estate. But over the years, I think we sold off parts of land and other people owned it. And so now we've been left with all these wonderful trees. All the different types, from pine to oak to beech. All because of the Blair Athol Estate. Oh, I don't know, many years ago. And some of these trees look quite old. That one looks old, but that one looks even older. So it's very exciting. Might have to do some more work to find out about that. Now we are so close to seeing the bend in the river. And I've got a little tiny surprise for you. Are you ready? We're so close. We're coming up to another building. Oh, look at that view there. This building is another gilly hut. Do you remember I told you that lots of people like to fish around here? Well, that's probably why the road is so good. I know Cosmo, you're excited too. What? What's the matter? Yes, I know. We are going to go down here. The dogs are thinking about going for a dip now. We're going to go down here. This gilly hat is all locked up because nobody's fishing in the clothes down. Can you see the bend? It's just out of sight now. I'll need to walk more to see where that goes. I'm going to go down the steps. Shall we count the steps? There's a lot to count. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Wow, fifteen steps. 
But guess what? We can rest here, but we're not going to. We're going to do some more steps. We'll have to count these ones now. I'm going to hold on to the rail though, because it is quite steep. Can you see the steepness? This is the steps we've just come down. They are quite steep, aren't they? Now let's go down these steps and we can count these ones. One, oh, no, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There were ten steps on that one and fifteen on the other one. But guess what? We are now next to the river bank. Oops, I'll try and avoid the sun so you can see down river. And then we'll quickly go along and then we can see right the way down. Wow, I'm going to go on the little platform. This is where the fishermen board the boat. My two dogs are thinking about going in. Off you go in. Look at the water, it looks great. Well, why don't we go down here? If that's too steep, let's go down here. And we'll take you in for a little dip. See? Oh, lovely. What a lovely little dip. It is a bit cold, but I think Cosmo's liking it more. He's even, oh, it's a tiny bit deeper there. He had a little swim rather than a walk. He's quite enjoying that. So as you can tell, it was quite shallow here, but a little bit farther out, it was deep enough for him to have a little swim. Oh, I think he enjoyed that. Thank goodness he did that over there and didn't get me. Now I'm going to find my way back. Back onto the platform. One last look at the water there. And down at the river. And then we're going to turn and go back up all those steps. How exciting! Are you ready? I'm not going to count them on the way up, but I am going to be sensible. They are very dry today now, but some days it can be wet and slippy. So, we're going to be careful. I'll make a loud noise so that you can count them every time you hear my foot making a noise. And we'll do that again here. Are you ready? Oh, look what he's got now, a perfectly sized stick. He's dropped the stick so he can appear on camera for you. Where's your stick? Oh, he's decided he wants to just talk to you. Let's head over here. That's us past the ghillie hut. What a lovely view there. And now on this part of our walk. Cosmo, Scout! I think we're going to say goodbye to you now. Bye from Cosmo and bye from Scout. And it's bye for B. I hope you enjoyed your walk. Till the next time. Bye!